Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Gaming with Shoggoths and we are at uh, the unnamed Oregon Park home of the Superdome. I feel like that's how I have to announce it. <laughs> For some reason, it feels like a like a sports arena now or something like that. I mean, obviously the Superdome was a sports arena. Is still a sport? Is it still called the Superdome? Do they still even play at the Super? I don't. I haven't been keeping up with football lately. Who knows what's going on? Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. So we are back at the park that has the Superdome, the giant uh, indoor enclosure full of dinosaurs and pterosaurs, etc. Um, and for this episode, we are going to be building, uh, some islands in the middle of this river slash lake area. And, uh, it's going to house a large pack of velociraptors, uh, and the raptors, as well as much of this park, are going to be modded. And, uh, they're a pretty cool mod. Uh, we'll take a look at them, like, more in depth when I'm going to put them in the enclosure once the speed build is done. Uh, it's a, they are paleo edited by Mr. F uh, Fei Wulong. Or Fei Long? Oh no, I'm messing it up. I know I am. Uh, Mr. Fei Long, yes. And it's actually from a pack of paleo edit uh, carnivores. So uh, I will put the link in the description, uh, as always. Um, but yeah, so what I wanted to do is kind of start working on the actual entrance area of this park now that the Superdome is taking up its, its giant uh, area. And so I'm basically working on, like, the coast right now. Um working on like pathways and such and uh just trying to kind of have a nice like neat little you know it's actually technically i guess it's not a coast because it's a river so the riverbed <laughs> however you want to put it um you know just have i wanted to have some walkways and stuff going along it and then i decided to put uh some actual like you know dinosaurs in in the river area so that way they have something to look at while they're going the, they're walking the rest of the way um i will obviously also have like some sort of monorail system that they can go on as well that area kind of behind that whole big area open area right there um that's gonna be i'm gonna put like some hotels and um probably visitor center stuff like that uh, um but that'll be on the next probably the next episode right now we're just going to focus on this coastline uh decorating it and building it up and kind of screwing around with the uh, terrain tool mods and the expanded park mod to kind of have a neat little area this part normally this being the oregon map which is normally pretty small um but with the expanded uh parks uh, mod it uh it makes it quite quite like oh my god so much bigger like those mountains over there where those trees are you can build there those the the tree line behind uh the superdome you can build there across the other side of this river you can build there like so it's uh it's pretty cool so that's why i decided to like add some you know some islands and such into the uh, river area which will come soon but right now just kind of messing around with this um and yeah, basically I just, you know, fooled around with pulling the land up from under the water and then, you know, just sort of messed around until it was to my liking. Uh, that's what I like about the terrain tools, you know, that this, like if you were, if you were using only the expanded parks build, you know, you or mod, you could totally do this without the terrain tool. It just wouldn't be quite as precise, but you know, if you're using one mod, you might as well use the other. Um, but, uh, you can, you know, you can build this kind of stuff as far as like on normal land in the normal park areas with the terrain tools. It's just, it, you know, you don't, uh, with the in-game terrain tools, I should say, you just don't get the precision and the accuracy and, you know, the ability to really dial it up and crank it up or lower it, you know, um, like you would with the mod. So, um, I've said in a previous video, I, I am going to be starting an unmodded park soon. Uh, once I finish with the, the Germany speed build, I'm going to start an unmodded park. And so we'll like get into like different things you can do with the terrain tools and stuff like that it, with the normal, uh, you know, with the normal game, because it's totally possible. It's doable. I've done it plenty. You know, it just, it, it's, you just don't get quite the same effect, but you do get a similar effect. So, you know, we'll look into stuff like that soon, starting soon, but I'm just kind of toying with it carving out uh you know little inlets and such 
This is gonna have, I think they had about 15 or so little, or not little, since they, <laughs> normally they'd be little, but 15 or so uh, Velociraptors are going to live here. I might add some more or some other creatures in the future. I'm thinking about on those little islands, uh, putting some other small animals, like, you know, like dressors or something like that. But right now it's just gonna be this large area and then the other, the other little islands are just decorative at the moment. Um, this is like a snowy area, so these uh, raptors are apparently adapting to, uh, you know, <laughs> life in the colder regions. <laughs> I did, um, I kind of went by really fast in the beginning and I was talking about something else, but I did, you can kind of tell that I, I made the monorail look like it goes down the river and then kind of disappears. Um, and I was just kind of screwing around with the, the terrain and everything to kind of give it that look like it, like you're riding in from somewhere else, like, you know. A, a dock well it's Oregon so you're not you, you could be coming in from a dock on one side of the state but uh, it's not an island um, but you know you're coming in from like a a, a a parking area or something like that like off-site and you're coming in on the monorail and to the park so it kind of looks like the monorail disappears off to the distance um, since we can't use like the tunnel or anything like that here but uh, yes we're just getting some viewing areas up uh, this will obviously encourage, uh, with dinosaurs being here and the viewing areas being there, this will encourage people to keep walking on these long winding paths, even once I put the monorail up, because they'll want to see the dinosaurs. <laughs> I think I had some bathrooms at some point, but I might have done that off camera. Um, I did do just a lot of, like, you know, decorating with the various brushes and such, just to, you know, give it a nice look. Um... As you can see, I do have some of the older, like, tropical trees up, and I do eventually, and I, this part I do off-camera, but I do eventually change those to be more like pine trees and evergreens, all that stuff, uh, just because it kind of looked weird. Like, inside of an enclosure, it's fine, but, like, it sort of looked weird to um, have, you know, the snow and the pine trees and all that stuff, and then have these tropical-looking plants. <laughs> So they will get changed eventually um, to some of the other uh, smaller evergreen type trees. Uh, one thing I did kind of discover is that I think I'm not sure if I do it here or yeah, I start. Yeah. See how I really like how the snow looks under the water. Like it's, it's, you know, it's painting like the land that's underneath there and it looks really cool. Like it's got like this blue shiny effect and I think it looks nice because it kind of gives that area depth. You know, and, and, and the area had depth anyways, because I had carved down into it with the terrain tools. But, like, I think it, it I feel like it gave it, like, like, a really cool look of depth because the color, the blue color, like, changes. And I just thought it looked really nice. Throwing up some Velociraptor signs. I always forget that these signs exist. Um, but, you know, since all these enclosures currently look out into Velociraptor territory, that's the sign we're going to have up. Um, I did off off camera add uh, fencing around the main island and then made it invisible so that way the velociraptors don't walk into the water because they will and they will walk all the way down to the bottom and eventually cross back over. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the modded raptors and these guys I think are so cool. I mean, about the only thing in my opinion that would make them better is that they're feathered, but feathering the the, the mod, you know, the dinosaurs is uh, pretty hard from. It, you know, to, especially if you want to get it to look really nice. But these are the basic, uh, quote unquote, basic Jurassic World uh, models, plus the four um, Raptor Squad. That's blue. And then Charlie. Almost forgot my alpha. And Delta. And then Echo, and Echo's my, I, I love the color pattern, Echo, I think that's my favorite color pattern. But uh, yeah, these are made by F Mr. Feilong, and oh, this is the 2001 uh, A Raptor skin, aka Alan. And then this is the B skin for 2001, and I love this skin, like just generally speaking, like in the game. This is like one of my favorite of the movie Raptor skins. But yeah, this is a uh, Mr. Feilong, uh, paleo edit and he said that he likes to edit them to give them a more realistic look while also keeping features of them 
you know, still reminiscent of the Jurassic World style or Jurassic Park style. So that's, that's cool. It's like a mix. It's, you know, a halfway between like, you know, game and movie like standard and then, you know, paleo standard. So they're cool. I really like them. I love those sculpted heads. They're beautiful. I mean, if you had feathers and you fix the hands, like it'd be a perfect little, uh, you know, obviously like they should be smaller, but you know, we can only do so much. But I would love to see them feathered. Uh, there was an awesome feathered Velociraptor mod that looked quite similar uh, for Jurassic World Evolution 1. So I'm hoping we get something like that uh, for 2. Uh, but they are part of a pack of uh, several small carnivores that uh, Fei Long did to, the, uh, to some paleo edits too. And uh, the link will be in the description and you can see. Uh, you can go and check them all out. They're all pretty cool. Yeah, so this is uh, what we've got done so far. It's a nice, like, walking area. I wish we had some sort of decor decorative fences. I missed the little fence from Mr. Trudon's fences from Jurassic World Evolution 1. Hope we get something like that, too. <laughs> we've got uh, nice rocks and everything, though. Uh, this is our coastal riverbed walkway. And uh, depending on how big of a screen you're watching, if you're watching on a phone, you probably won't be able to tell, but like on my screen that I that I play on is pr is pretty big and I like when if you go down to like uh, visitor level like you can see uh, the raptors from the walkway which is kind of cool I mean they're in the distance but you'd definitely be like oh look you know little Timmy would be like look mommy there's raptors and then you would run in and you know go take a look from the observation areas they were kind of be <laughs> took me a while to find them though when I was trying to record them out in the wild but they do seem to like their new habitat i did not put uh like any water in here uh because we're gonna suspend our disbelief since this is a lake and river system it is fresh water so uh you know normally the dinosaurs would probably just walk right up to the bank and drink the water <laughs> and it would be fine it's not salt water so it should be fine think everything would be good so that's why I didn't do like an actual like lake or river or anything in here because I feel like since they're on an island and since it's fresh water it would be you know acceptable drinking water and they're surrounded by it so yeah that's uh that's what I decided to go with for that I do like how these islands turned out the back ones are kind of Every time I make like the really tall cone pointy ones, I'm never happy with them. Like I'm like, oh, they look all right. And then later on, I'm like, oh, they look terrible. I don't know what it is. So <laughs> I might mess with those more uh, later on. So this bank area with all these trees to the right of the screen, that's all uh, usable now with the expanded parks mod. So I'm thinking of putting some, maybe some exclusive hotels over there and an exclusive little, you know, b dinosaur stuff that only you know, the hoity-toity rich people can get to or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. This is the Velociraptor Island. Um, thank you as always for checking out my video. I really do appreciate it. If you're new, consider subscribing. I post like two, three times a week right now. Uh, speed builds, mods, stuff like that. So, you know, if that's your interest, click that subscribe button. And uh, as always, I will have more Jurassic World Evolution 2 real soon. Until then, have a good one.